Hey guys, I'm Stephanie, and this is Steph's Dave, and today I wanted to make you a very, very tasty dip that is perfect for all the upcoming events, such as the Super Bowl, or just a wonderful weekend to have. But this dip is for all my health conscious friends out there. This is a high protein queso dip. So you can eat the entire container if you want to. You have about 18 grams of protein, so it's very good for you and good to you as well. So I want to give you a healthy alternative as well. So let's get everything going and let's make this wonderful high protein queso dip. Here we go. All right, to get our um, queso dip started, we are going to start with cottage cheese. Now, for those of you that says, oh, I can't stand cottage cheese, it's good, it's good. And trust me, you won't necessarily taste the individual cottage cheese. This is full fat cottage cheese. Do not get the low fat for this. And we are gonna need a cup of it. And if uh, most people that enjoy a high protein diet generally do eat a lot of cottage cheese. I don't necessarily follow the diet per se, but I do enjoy cottage cheese. So we're gonna take this. Now I'm gonna do this in a little blender bullet here. You can do this in a food processor. You can mix it with a mixer. Whatever you got will work. This is very forgiving. So not to worry about having some extra fancy stuff. So we got a cottage cheese in here. This is my little blender container. And then we're gonna add some taco seasoning. Now this taco seasoning is about an ounce packet. So I'm gonna add about, I'm just kind of eyeballing this, about half of the packet. Ooh, it smells like a good flight, a little bit more. That's about half. All right, I'm gonna kind of mix it together a little bit. Even though you don't have to, my little bullet's gonna handle all of that. Get that out. Nice and scraped. And then here, get the lid over it. And at this point, after you mix it just a little bit, you're going to want to blend it. So like I said, these little blender bullets are great for this because you just drop them in and it's gonna get a little loud. <laughs> take it out and then I'm going to scrape it down to blend it just a little bit more. You may want to blend it a few times because you're trying to get all of those little curds blended together. That's your main goal here. Shake that down. Alright, let's take it down. I'm gonna give mine just another little good shake here. And then, and you can see we've got a nice little creamy consistency here, so I'm gonna shake that down. Just in case we got, oh gosh, it smells so good already. Mm -mm -mm. Get that consistency down. So the next thing we want to add in here, because it's queso, we're going to have some cheese. So I'm gonna just use some finely shredded cheese. You want the shredded cheese. I'm not going to measure this out. I'm just going to kind of put a handful in here. Get it all out. Yes, I'm getting it all over this, this day. It's fine. I'll mix this up. Get that in there. And if you want to put it in a bowl when you do it, that's fine. I'm just going to blend this together. Get all of those nice things incorporated. Move it to a little bowl here. Kind of wanted to use that cheese to scrape out the extra. You can see, look at that consistency. Beautiful. My cheese is helping me here to get all this extra off the sides. And we're not done with it, don't worry. All right, got all my extras off. Now, I need another good flavor in here. So I've got a can of Rotel tomatoes and you're going to use about a fourth of a cup of this with some juice. Add that in. Add a little extra. And I'm gonna mix this together. It makes easy because you got your liquid in here now. Look how 
thin it out. Oh, the smell. Mm. Those wonderful Mexican blends. Mm -mm -mm. Just enough to combine. Then I'm going to take this over to the microwave and we're going to pop this in the microwave for one minute. Popped in the microwave. One minute. All right, one minute is up. So get your pot holder to grab this. Ha! Ah, because this is going to be what I call lava hot in here. And then you're going to mix it up really well. Oh, look at that consistency. And that cheese is melting all throughout. Look at that. All right, I'm going to scrape my spoon off. I'm going to put it back in the microwave for one more minute. All right, it's been one more minute. I'm going to get this out. Look at this. Look at this perfect, perfect tip. Give it a good stir to combine everything. Look at that. Look at that. If you want to add more cheese to it, add more cheese. It's your queso. All right, let's get over here and give this a taste. All righty, guys, I'm Stephanie. This has been Steph Stone. For today, we made this amazing high-protein queso dip using cottage cheese, our friend, of course. So we mix this together. <gasps> Look how good it looks. Yummy. Now, I'm gonna dig in with a scoop chip. It's still hot, it's kind of like that. Must have been lava hot, but I'm going in. Mm. Mm. That's some good stuff right here. Oh, you can eat the whole container. It's good. Mm. The cheese, warm, mm, good, good, cool. The reptile in there, mm. the cheese, cannot tell. If I gave you this, you would never know it's got cottage cheese in it, but it's good for you. So, go give it a try. Put it on your game day table as well. So remember, I'm Stephanie. This has been Steph Steph. Give us a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button for more great content like this. Remember, Steph Steph, we're making memories one dish at a time. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy.